Hi friends, so let us have a discussion on demo class on uh, bank exams and staff selection commission now. So the now first let us see the syllabus in the bank exams and staff selection commission. Okay, the bank exams pattern uh, which includes one is a reasoning subject, quantitative aptitude, general English, general awareness. Then in the staff selection commission also same pattern will be there reasoning, quantitative and which includes uh, pure maths uh, the few sections also is there in this and then next uh, general English part and GK. A GK which includes with stock GK it is a school syllabus. Okay. So, you can see here in the bank exams and staff selection almost uh, the exam patterns are same around 90 percent of the syllabus is same. So, then now let us see the subject wise uh, discussion. So, uh, to succeed in the staff selection commission or bank examinations, so we need to solve the questions uh, very quickly because it is objective type uh, examination. So, we need some techniques uh, to get through the exam right. Now, let us see the one of the important subject in this reasoning. The reasoning it is not covered in school level in uh, inter level and degree level, but remaining all the sections we have come across in the school days in the college days also. So, reasoning is the very important section uh, in all the competitive exams nowadays. It is a very interesting and a very intelligence topic it is. Actually, reasoning subject starts from in English uh, 26 alphabets. So, so, we should know position of alphabets uh, all the 26 uh, alphabets in English. Now, I am writing uh, for example, H letter on the board if I add top H and bottom H it seems one number what it is H. Okay. And one more letter I am writing in the board uh, which is uh, you can see one greatest number here which is 7 G for 7 H is uh, 8 you can remember like that. I will tell you importance of these letters at the end of the session. And uh, I am writing uh, another 4 letters in English 1, 2, 3, 4. So, everybody knows this sequence uh, because since school days we have been learning this. So, I am writing another sequence it is U, V, W, X uh, again I am giving uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, do you act, accept these positions? We cannot because already we have 1, 2, 3, 4 hence you can prefix in all the cases uh, number 2 we get the right position of uh, alphabets in English. Okay. Then one more. So, this is so, so have you heard about uh, Padaharala Vaisu Telugu movie? So, do you know who is the acted uh, heroine in that film? So, her name is uh, Sri Devi. Her first film is uh, Padaharala Vaisu. If you write like this in uh, English, what is the first letter there? P. So, P position is uh, 16. So, P number and again Ella Guttra Olimanki, you can remember Sri Devi, well known heroine, you can find uh, easily. P for 16 number. Okay. Similarly, you should remember all the position of alphabets in reasoning in English alphabets, then easily you can uh, attempt the questions in coding and decoding, letter series questions, odd man out questions, uh, symbols and notations, letter sequence questions. So, around uh, from all these topics, uh, you can you can get uh, around uh, 12 marks weightage in uh, various computer examinations by learning only alphabet sequences. Uh, okay. Then, and one more part in these alphabets is that is called as opposites in English. Opposites or complementary pairs or also called as uh, reverse order. What does it mean? What is the first letter in English? A. What is the last letter in English? Z. So, A is the opposite of G, Z is the opposite of A. How it possible sir? The, from left side first letter, from right side first letter. So, A reverse order is Z, Z reverse order is Z. I think you understand this point. So, the directions are different, but positions are same e is called opposite meaning. Similarly, can you tell the opposite of B it is Y. From left side second letter B, from right side second letter is Y. Similarly, if I ask what is the opposite of H? What is opposite of I? It is very difficult to write all the opposites directly unless you by hand, unless you practice all these things. Sir. Hence, now I will tell you some excellent shortcuts for these how to remember. Sir, listen. So, I am writing one festival name here Christmas. It is a famous festival in the world. So, 
on the occasion of the christmas festival our christian friends uh, will uh, prepare uh, will make the one tree can you name the tree name yeah, which is uh, xmas tree in christmas first letter c xmas first letter is uh, x c opposite is x uh, x opposite is uh, c you can remember like that and one more interesting word i am writing uh, on the board so in your life i have heard this word yes it's a very interesting word everyone knows this one right so l opposite is o b opposite is e that is then you can remember like this l is o b is a e you can right now i'll ask you one more question about the telugu films who is the hero in the gabbar singh movie yes sir he is none other than pavan kalyan remember how we are using a pavan kalyan name in a opposites in pavan first letter is p in the kalyan first letter is a k do remember p is a k k is p that is so which is the biggest networking uh, in india which is providing the more employment uh, in india which is no central government sector can you name it that is indian railways in indian railways indian first letter is i in railways uh, first letter is r that is okay and uh, have you ever been to hospital generally so we go to the hospital so i also went to hospital once upon a time there i have seen one poster on the wall ish is there in that ish what are the letters we can find s and h this is another opposite pair in english okay i'll i'll write one more word on the board gt express what is this gt express it is a grand trunk express so in this what are the capital letters are there gt t is a g you can remember okay yes yes tell me once again so what is uh, i opposite i is r l is o like that you can practice by taking any english newspaper or any magazines you can practice two to three days so you will get very easily marks in this section sir regarding uh, uh, opposites and alphabets uh, you can find questions in coding decoding letter series letter knowledge is this kind okay and uh, the one more letter i left that is j so we have a uh, playing cards uh, 52 playing cards are there in that j is the one of the card and it is followed by one more card we'll keep in a sequence game do you know that card so which is a uh, q remember with the pc so hence j opposite is q q opposite is a j and uh, it is uh, not only remembering the opposites you can find a sequence of the alphabets also actually from 10th letter in english is a j so if they would ask the question in the examination what is the 10th from right uh, the opposite of j you can find the answer that is it is a very simple to find the answers so while we are doing exercises uh, so you will get uh, more clarity on these uh, things okay so in generally in our friends epudana problems lo unnapudu exams failures or financial uh, problems unnapudu so we will say generally what do you say don't worry friend uh, one more chance is there try it again the don't worry d is the first letter w worry first letter is w you can remember d is w w is a d you can remember so i think i have covered all the opposites in the reasoning yes can you tell i for r so i for r in the sense don't by had the words like letters so i means you can remember recollect indian railways the p means the pavan kalyan or k means or pavan kalyan whatever l means love l o v e z e you can remember like that okay this is a the brief uh, introduction about your reasoning reasoning means not only these alphabets so you can find the lots of topics in this uh, we have a blood relations seating arrangement some miscellaneous questions number series number analysis number odd men out okay direction test venn diagrams these are all the first first part of the reasoning this is known as a reasoning ability and followed by we have a analytical reasoning is also there there are also logical reasoning it is known as the one of the topic is syllogism and coded inequalities data sufficiency input output statement conclusion statement arguments statement assumptions decision making and non verbal reasoning also will be there so this is a it's so a complete uh, reasoning section which we cover uh, in our regular batches uh, detailedly the one basic class and excess class will be discussing in the uh, regular batches uh, okay this is about uh, reasoning section friends then coming to this uh, the next important uh, 
quantitative quant general english and gk also we cover this kind of tips will be providing uh, to get through the examination so we give you the best training for uh, this uh, bank exams or staff selection commission okay thank you